So I was out diving with my friend Lily and first I found this shell. I find these a lot and they always have something living in them. I showed it to her and she thought it was really cool, but I was like, nope, sorry, can't keep it. Back to the reef you go. So I buried the shell in the sand a little bit and then right nearby in a different part of the reef, I found the exact same shell. Do they have teleportation powers? Am I always finding the same shell every day? Anyways, then I saw my friend the puff boy. I guess he didn't really want to see me because his tail was like... <laughs> while he zoomed away. When I turned around, I realized Lily was down there with a sea turtle. How did I not notice? I guess I was too distracted by the way my puff boyfriend is working that backside. Get it, boy. Today, I'm going diving with my turtle friend, Nainoa. Oh, and my friend Lily is also there. After he got all of his air, he dove down. So we went with him and he immediately started munching on the reef. Literally, all turtles do is breathe and eat. What an amazing creature. Then I found this hair tie and some strange kind of tube hair tie. Then I found this massive hook. This thing was so big. I think it was used by the ancients to catch megalodons back in the old times. Wow, what an amazing archaeological discovery. Yeah. On my dive today, I found my octopus friend Octavio. He was hiding in the reef and there was a sea urchin on top of him. I was like, uh, I'm not going in there when it's all spiky on the outside. So I put my pole in first and then I thought it might be cool to leave the GoPro down here and see if I could get a clip of Octavio coming out of his house. Oh no, the wave pushed it over. Okay, we're gonna have to try that again. Well, it kind of worked, but I definitely put my GoPro at the wrong angle. That's him poking out and looking around. Then I put my whole hand in his hole and he still wouldn't come. Today I'm going diving with my friend Lily and at first she texted me like, oh, could I borrow some gear? But then when we got to the beach, she had a full set of professional free diving equipment. All of a sudden she starts diving to the bottom, swimming out further and further. I was like, uh, Lily, I'm trying to hang out in the shallow water so I can find stuff. Then all of a sudden we're in the deep dark blue and I'm like, Lily, we are literally in the middle of nowhere. Then she starts diving all the way down to the bottom. I'm like, Lily, there's no hair ties out here. We have to go back, please. We literally went so far out and so deep that I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it back. Today we were out diving and we saw this massive school of fish. It's called a bait ball. What the fish like to do is gather together so that they're less attractive to predators. It makes them seem like a big scary thing if something wanted to come up and eat them. But what's good for us is we don't want to eat them, we just want to take cool clips. To me, the best clip is when someone else swims in the middle of them and then you get the fish to swim between you and the diver. This one was so epic. Unfortunately for us, when we had this incredible experience, the sun didn't come out, so it was so hard to get that perfect clip. We kept going over and over, but it was never exactly what I wanted. I guess that means we're just going to have to come back and try it again. Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye.